Aloha everyone and welcome to another video by me, Kay Elmer, and in this video I'd like to share with you how to make C60 oil the absolute cheapest, easiest, hassle-free way possible. Because if you've seen some of my videos, you know I've, I've done it a lot of different ways and some of them are pretty complicated and as I tinker and tinker and then get lazy about this, I've actually kind of come up with the absolute easiest cheapest way and I wanted to share it with you so let's jump right in of course we got some disclaimers this material is for research purposes only c60 oil is not approved for consumption by the FDA you understand that making and consuming c60 oil is experimental and you do so at your own risk I don't endorse products I don't have a stake in any company or product and I don't get made for making videos this is just from me to you educational purposes only so now, the, the method is essentially the, quote, jar method, where you just put oil, C60, put it in a jar, shake the crap out of it, let it settle. That's it. But let me show you. <laughs> of course, you want video. Uh, you want to see what, what I'm talking about. So here's, here's how I do it. I just made a quick two-minute video. Uh, the first thing I, that, you know, this is everybody can do it differently. Um, but the way I like to do it is I like to heat up the oil. And so what I do is, and I also mix oils because I like to use coconut and everything I do, because uh, coconut's super healthy oil, right? So is olive oil and avocado and those guys. But, but first thing is I heat up the oil, um, and then I mix it, uh, the coconut, and I mix it in with some olive. Now, you guys can make any kind of oil you want, whatever is your favorite. Okay, so, but this is what I do. But I think um, warming up the oil is, is probably a pretty essential step. Uh, and then I pour it all in this jar, and then I mix in the C60. So let's go ahead and just kind of just, you know, let me show you what I do. Oh, by the way, this is, I'm using little jars and little amounts just for, uh, you know, just for visualization purposes. But uh, that's the C60, 99.95. Uh, from our co-op and so basically I just uh, let the I let the coconut oil heat up a little bit uh, mix the two together and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the uh, the C60 let me just jump forward here uh, and so there's the C60 this one I'm using a powder sometimes I use uh, the pulverize it's whatever I'm using on hand uh, and I just just sprinkle it in I'm not measuring it you don't need a scale and then that's what it looks like so basically it's just sitting there actually in this example I didn't really add much but it's just for illustration purposes but but once you get the C60 oil in in the oil there you go step two shake like hell uh, and just I just shake it I give it a good three to five minute shake uh, and then it turns dark okay uh, normally if I put a lot more C60 in there or especially if you're using pulverized it's gonna turn black so now uh, there's that before now this is what the after is so after you do this you just let it settle and I just let it settle for uh, sometimes I forget about it and I find it like a month later but uh, usually like this one here has been probably settling I don't know about a month or so because I just kind of forgot about it but you know you can do minimum two weeks uh, but you know bottom line though is you shake it up you let it settle and it goes from that color here well not that color but that color and then it turns into that color see uh, and then you can see like what I also did is this is like a few months ago I made like three liters at one time and I had all that residual C60 at the bottom right of the flask and I just put it all in a jar that's how all this started in my mind I just had all this leftover C60 from three liters and I just swished up the bottom and I put all the residual into one jar added oil and shook the crap out of it and that's how this started and this is the beginnings of it so this is what that was and I've been actually drinking half this I already drank half this jar but this is what it looks like when you're done and then there you go you're done uh, you can just drink this as your c60 oil there's definitely lipofullerenes in there um, I mean it's clear that th this is lipofullerenes because it's darker and that's if you put this in a spectrometer you would definitely uh, pick up on, on the on the color change uh, now that uh, it's been lipofullerized okay so now you've got c60 oil up here you've got more you know the whatever's left over that didn't uh, dissolve into the oil and you're good to go now if you want and then I'm one of those people that want uh, you know, I'd like to take it to the next step, which is also very, very inexpensive, and that, that's to filter it. And, and I've talked about that several times for you guys that are new to my channel. Uh, the reason I filter it is because uh, I'm prone to kidney stones, and when I don't, I have pain and problems. If you have no problem with kidney stones, then no problem, because carbon will just go right through you. Uh, but for you guys with kidney issues, I highly recommend you filter. And so this is how you filter at home. Now, one of the things that people don't really realize, and you know, if you don't look it up, but you know a coffee filter is uh, 20 microns and so 
you know, if you if you know from all of the other ways of doing C60, uh, you know, filtering with a 0.22 is the traditional body study method. Uh, you can also do 10 microns, but you know, a coffee filter at 20 microns, that's good enough. And this is the whole point of this video is how do you make C60 oil cheap, easy, quote, good enough. So I just use a kitchen funnel, I put a coffee filter in there, and then I just pour it in. So I just take this, you know, uh, and uh, I pour it in there. And it just filters. It just gravity filters right to the bottom. And it turns this beautiful kind of golden color you'll see here in a second. And boom, I've got filtered C60 oil. Super cheap, super easy. And I'll explain the cheap part, but this is the easy part, right? And then, you know, this is what I also do too. This is the original jar. And I was just doing this for illustration. So anyway, I just added it. Uh, to the original jar. Now, this one here, this guy, what I was showing you, I probably, I don't even think I put a tenth of a gram in there, but this guy in here probably has a full gram uh, left over from the other three, you know, uh, runs. So, anyway, so I just pour it back in the original. And one of the things, too, I just want to point out that if you shake shake it really well, you know, you're not going to get any residual in the, like, see, there's almost nothing. But then, here's my original jar. I added more oil to it. This is what I do, right? So this really, uh, kind of, I want to point that out. Whenever I empty it out, there's still C60 in the bottom. Add more oil, shake, rinse, repeat, keep doing it, and you're good. So there you go. And then I, I just keep doing it until there's no C60. But anyway, look at that. There you go. It went, and look at this nice, beautiful golden color. Uh, by the way, it's golden because the PC60 that's in the bottom of this guy uh, is the new Red Lion PC60. Uh, that doesn't turn red and so when you finish it's going to look like this um, but it, it is c6 this is all lipofullerenes in here uh, believe me because i've been drinking this and if you saw my snake bite video oh oh and the dogs love c60 i just i just want to throw this in because i love my dogs uh, but that's peaches that's the puppy six months old now um, and uh, Norman and uh, I, I give my dog C60 every day but let me jump back to the spider bite if you saw my spider bite video um, I'm taking the new PC60 from Red Lion the one that doesn't turn it turns golden and not red um, and that's what I was taking when I had my spider bite and that and like I said in that video you know it totally took care of that. I didn't have any effects from the toxins from the bite um, and so, you know, that to me is how I know it's working because if I, and, and I've been eating like food that I know has MSG and I have no reaction to the MSG. So, you know, when I, when I'm saying that this works, I mean that when I, I've been taking this oil done with the jar method and I have no problems eating MSG, no reaction to the black widow spider bite. It is doing what it does because otherwise those toxins, whether it's a neurotoxin MSG or black widow spider bite, that would have sent me to the ER. I mean, really, you know, but I didn't. I just, I, had, I didn't even have a reaction to it. As you saw from the other video, the, the, the reaction was the wound, but not the, the toxin. So that's how to do it. It's as simple as that. Now, what it costs, and this is the cheap part, covered the easy part, but the cheap part is this. Now, I get my C60 powder from our Telegram C60 co-op. For those of you who've joined the co-op, you know uh, that we we have this uh, co-op where we have this one uh, gentleman who is like a, just an angel. I mean, he lays out his own money, buys bulk C60, like a lot of it, at low prices because he's buying bulk, and then he redistributes it to members of the C60 chat. There's nothing; uh, doesn't cost anything to join. It's just you know part of our community. It's a, like we have a makers community, people who make their own, right? And they all on, they're all on Telegram. We have our own chat group, and you just hook up with this gentleman. You can go to the uh, go to the Telegram chat group. If you looked at the pin message, it'll, it'll tell you how to do it. And then right right now, um, you know, uh, he's has available uh, 99.95 C60 for 120 a gram. And for those of you who make C60, you know that it retails at 245. So, I mean, 120 is a hell of a deal. And now that's just for the regular, that's just regular old C60 powder, okay? Uh, now, if uh, we've all, he's also got sublimed C60 right now going for 160 uh, a gram. So you can get either one. I got the cheaper one. Uh, I just happen to have a bunch of it. So I was just going to use it up. So it's 120. This is what it costs me to make a liter, the jar method. One gram at 120. 
Uh, I get a decent liter of some decent kind of oil, like around 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, and I'm not even going for like the fanciest kind of oil. I'm just going for just, you know, a decent olive oil, avocado, coconut. I'm, I'm a lot less anal retentive about it now after doing this two years. So any decent kind of oil. These are my four favorites, coconut, avocado, MCT, or olive, or a mixture, as you saw. And that's just 20 bucks. That's it. And then the rest of the stuff is stuff you already have at home. It doesn't cost you nothing. Everybody has a couple of jars. You could use a like a you know a, a pizza sauce or you know I mean a spaghetti sauce jar. Just clean it. <laughs> you know, but you could use any kind of jar. You only need two jars or one jar, right? So there you go. Uh, and then the funnel and the coffee filter. Well, that's filtering is optional, as I explained. So that doesn't cost you anything if you don't need to do it. And there you go. You have zero equipment costs. Okay, and so it's 140. Now you know that one liter has 35 ounces in it. One ounce is those little jars that you see, you know, these little bottles that you see sold on, on just tons of different websites. And they go from anywhere from, these little bottles go from anywhere from like 15 to 30 bucks a bottle, right? But you're making it at this, the jar method, going through the co-op, four bucks an ounce, four dollars an ounce. That's it. And one liter for me lasts me a whole month. So it's, it's a great, it's a great deal. Easy way to make it. Hassle free. You can do it. It's so simple. You don't even have to go on Amazon. <laughs> so there you go. That's my easiest, fastest, cheapest way to do it. Shortest video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your uh, patronage. Thanks for the great comments. If you got any questions, just jump on there. You know, if you're making it your own way, you're, you want to use a Sonicator, stirs, any kind of question you want about any kind of, of the equipment or the way to do it. Just, hey, jump on in. We also post a whole bunch of just, you know, updates on, on what's going on out there. I mean, uh, Ian Mitchell had a recent uh, great interview. That's been posted to the chat. I mean, there's all this great stuff if, you, if you're interested in C60 and what C60 can do. So there you go. Um, link to join the Telegram C60 chat group in the video description. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And, hey, you know what? Take C60. Don't forget your dogs. My dogs love C60. I give them both a dropper every day, and they love it. I mean, if, you can tell when I don't give them, they get a little listless, or the, or the, the chubby old one does. <laughs> the puppy never gets listless. But Norman, you know what? He's an older dog. He's six years old. He's overweight like me. We're both working on it right now. We're, we're trying to lose the weight. But I give him C60 every day. And I'll tell you what, the difference between giving it to him and not, it's night and day. So, I mean, your dogs love it. It's great for them, just like it's great for you. Um, and, hey, you know what? Good health to you. Thank you very much for watching. Aloha. Have a great day.